Hello everybody, it is Clash's Gut back today with a video on how to make a money clicker game in Scratch. So let's start by, as usual, deleting this cat sprite and painting our new one. We Let's make it a... Let's go 15 and 15 and make a yellowish circle, make it a bit smaller, put it in the middle. And let's draw a dollar sign in the middle. Oops, not a four, a dollar sign. There we go. Okay, make sure that's centered. And let's go into the code. When clicked, show forever if else. Okay, forever if touching mouse pointer then set brightness to 15 else clear graphic effects now we're gonna use this very cool piece of code that helps us a lot and it makes it look very realistic so we're gonna go set y to and we're gonna use timer Minus, let's go three times three hundred times seven. I want to go here. So this put it here and then divide by seven, and then again, let's just go. A hundred. Okay. Now this little piece of code, if it works, help us a, a lot. As you can see, it is now moving up and down. Of course, we want to set the x to zero. But now, as you see, it is smoothly moving up and down. And when our mouse pointer hovers over it, it turns a different color. So that is good. Now, also, let's go set size to a hundred here. And set size to 115. Not bad. Okay, now let's go back into events and if mouse down, which basically tells us that it is being clicked, let's make a new variable, delete this one, and let's call it money. At the start, obviously, you want to set money to zero. We want to change money by one. Let's make a new variable called click and we want to set click to one. Let's go wait until not mouse down. Set click to zero. Okay, now let's see. As you go, if you click it, if you hold it down, nothing happens. But if you keep clicking it, your money will change. Pretty good. Now, let's go just duplicate this, except get rid of all the codes. And we can name that falling money. And just name that coin. Okay. So, in the falling money script, we want to go... When clicked, forever, if, click, equals, one, then, I want to create clone of myself, and then, wait, until, duplicate that, click equals, zero, oops, here we go. And obviously, when I start as clone, go to X, pick random, let's say, negative 200 to 200. And Y, let's also go 200. You want to set size to, oh, let's make that a lot smaller. 35 let's show and here when clicked forever hide 
And we're going to go to back layer and clear graphic effects. Okay, now let's repeat. I think we should do 30. Repeat 30. Change Y by negative 4. And then let's go change ghost effect by 2 and then we want to delete this clone okay so now as you see as we click these small money will float down and it is starting to look like a actual clicker game pretty cool so now let's instead of using this variable let's make our own thing that displays the money let's go into paint and we want to Go from 1 to 9 and then do 0. So, let's go. 1, let's make that appropriate size. That looks pretty good. And call that 1. Duplicate that. 2. Basically, keep doing this. 3. Make sure it's always centered. So, every time we duplicate it, after you put in the new numeral, center it again and keep doing this until you have gone to 9. So 6, 7, 8, 9. And after 9, we have to do one more, which is 0. Okay. Now, looking pretty good. So, now let's do the code. So, let's say when clicked, we wanted to hide at first and then make a new variable called clone. And for this, we're right only set clone to one. Let's repeat 10. Create clone of myself, change clone by one. That is pretty good. Now, when I start as clone forever, we're going to go, let's say, go to front layer and go to, let's go clone multiply by 20 minus 210 oops put 210 here that's for the x and the y we should set it to 150 pretty good now let's put in an if else and now have to make a new variable so we already got clone and money, so let's go if, put a smaller than, length of money, smaller than clone, we have to do hide, else, show, switch costume to letter clone of money okay let's try this script here and okay we have to, can get rid of this money and as i click our money changes up and as i go up yep it changes along with how much our actual money is as you can see they are the same which is very very good Okay, now let's just make a dollar sign so we can put it actually next to our money so they know what it is. And uh, let's just put it here. Let's just go when clicked forever show go to front layer and go to negative 217 and 
150. Okay, pretty good. So now we have a very, very, very basic but functionable money clicker game. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay in tune for part two. This is only part one. There will be more including upgrades and better aesthetics. But thank you for watching and see you next time.